Have you been? Oh, have you been watching the Soldier Boy basically crumble? Soldier Boy dead ass just need to. <laughs> Man, does he have a um? What do you call it? Um, it's something up. A PR with him. team? Does Man, he have that? Nah, yes, he don't. Yeah. But you know what's crazy? Soulja he Boy, needs that. Soldier Boy needs therapy, my nigga, because he's high. Every time you watch his videos, if you really watch all his lives and not just what people re- be reposting. Mm-hmm. I was on. I was watching his live the other day, bro, and they were, everybody was going in about how he was talking about Young Dolph and shit, yeah. and the beef and shit like that. He was like, "Man, like if if Soldier Boy would have died, you think Dolph would have been rest in peace, Soldier Boy? You you think you think any of these niggas would? You think he said his his words? You think anybody would have gave a fuck if Soldier Boy died? So seeing him hearing him say that that shit was that shit was kind of sad, bro. Like, yeah. uh, that's how he think of himself." Feel like don't nobody care about him. Yeah, but, so he carry himself. Or he carry himself with that chip on his shoulder at all times. Like y'all, don't, I'm a dick because don't know y'all give a fuck about me. If I didn't have this money, if I wasn't Soldier Boy, would nobody give a fuck about me? Bro, we laugh about that first rapper to do this, first rapper to do that shit. But Soldier Boy has been telling us for years how like where he stands as in hip hop in his contribution. And we always played it off because, of course, he did the whole Bompton thing. I'm from Bompton. Yeah. He, then he was from Zone Six. Yeah. But we we he did all that, bro. And and then I think he he lost credibility by some of his antics. And now like the, the, the Soldier Boy has the popped the nigga though. The internet and shit. Oh, that, that's true, bro. I he popped the nigga. Now he ain't no pussy. But popping <laughs> Big the, Draco popping, ain't no pussy. But popping a nigga in self defense, bro, is different than the, the street code where you you go and you pop a nigga because it's beef. But it's different because and now he, and Soldier now Boy not gonna be in that predicament though. But now he's making it seem like you know I'll pop a nigga. I'll I'll pop a nigga if it's beef. I'll do this and I'll do that. I think his antics has made him lose credibility to the point where he has to tell us who he is, even though we still respect people like him. Bow wow, we, we respect those guys, but but you know, those Soulja guys, Boy, Soulja Boy ain't the only one that <laughs> do that though. Like you gotta think about this. Like it's it's always because Soulja Boy is hilarious, but the shit that he do, you can say the same thing about the baby. The baby has popped niggas in self defense. He ain't never go out here and just start shooting niggas. These niggas are rich. If if, if Soulja Boy went out here and start started popping niggas, I'm gonna look at him like he a fucking fool. Yeah. But self defense, that's the only way he can catch him. He been rich since he's been 17, 16. That's true. That's true. He, he he should never have to just go out here and pop a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it do if you read between the lines of this nigga, bro. This nigga is really like sad, sad, bro. Sad. Like all it's his, really all his sad. Are, all his videos are alone. It's just it's just him. If, and you, be, if you watch his vlogs, bro, it'd really be just him in the house yelling at his phone on his computer screen. Hey, like. but he put he <laughs> hey, but one I mean, thing about it lonely, bro. But one thing about the nigga though, off, one thing hurt. about the nigga though, bro. Like even now, he still is breaking artists. Like a lot of these For artists sure. that like like bro, even like I I ain't trying to say everybody, but even like niggas like Famous Dex. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas would have never been known without Soldier yeah, Boy. The first nigga to fuck with Doe Beasy. You know who Doe Boy is? Yeah. With Sound with Future and them. He was with Soldier Boy. He wasn't with. He wasn't signed, but Soldier Boy be giving niggas love without paperwork and be Bro. giving niggas cash. Like, the nigga, the nigga be alone. But I get it. Like nigga, I'm Soldier Boy and I stay putting everybody else on. But you niggas got the audacity to take my verse off of your songs. Bro, I boy, feel it though. I Soulja feel where he's coming from. Bro, his what his verse ain't hitting, bro. Stunning for Vegas verses don't be hitting. So he's the last thing to take a nigga they, off a fucking song. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I been, like, I'm Hitting sorry, bro. Stunning, stunning for Vegas song slap I live. I forgot, I forgot there was a stunning for Vegas. Stunning for Vegas song slap but live. Nah, but it's but, a fun song. Yeah, but now, but now, um, Soulja Boy, he he dropped bangers even recently, like the Rick and Morty bangers. song, make it clap. Like Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, everybody was yuling. I was hitting the Batman and the SpongeBob and some motion back in the day. I get yeah. it, bro. The SpongeBob. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. get it. Feet was moving fast as hell. I get it, bro. But at the same time, I feel like your antics sometimes can throw people off, bro. It can throw people off. It, he do he do some corny shit, but he's so funny with it that it's kind of just like ah, Soldier Boy. But this shit with Dolph is is is, is too corny, bro. Because you know what I'm saying, I'm a grown ass man. I don't know Dolph. I'm a fan, but I have I have job been in mourning. Yeah, for like the past, I've really been in mourning, bro. Like, you know but what has Soldier Boy really done since Dolph died? Just talk. Like, what has he said though? Unnecessarily like, talk. Like, you know like what has saying? he been like fuck Dolph? Nah, he he has he said fuck Key Glock and no. Man, but sometimes you got to read the room. Sometimes you don't need to say nothing. You don't need to come on there and pop shit. He made shit. fun of Dolph dying. He, he wouldn't he wouldn't do it personally, bro. I mean, he wouldn't. He wouldn't come out and say it 
oh yeah, 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 your big homie died. He wouldn't come out and say that. Because they've been, they been putting these videos up like he was saying this shit after the nigga died. Shit talking is shit talking before a nigga die. You get what I'm saying? Like, because Dolphin them was saying that same shit to Soldier Boy before he died. You got to think about it. It wasn't just Soldier Boy picking on Dolphin them. Them niggas was going back and forth and then all over some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And then Soldier Boy tried to fucking. Soldier Boy got his situations because he be answering the fans. The fans be talking that shit and he be replying to the fans and they take they take screenshots and post that shit like he just said this shit about Dolph. Like the shit be crazy, man, but I thought he was playing with the dead. You get what I'm saying? I thought yeah. niggas was like he was playing with the dead, like, you know, Dolph, yeah, fuck Dolph and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, D T Daddy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I fuck with I still love Big Soldier. And I, I mean, and I, bro, and I just, felt like Soldier Boy. Boys forever love this. And that's what's the crazy thing. These but niggas, I just felt like I don't like the way that he feel about himself. That's why he keep going off and going in these situations that well, he's in. Well, hit him up. I'm trying to. He want to answer my DMs. <laughs> I mean, I'm bro, trying to be SOD money gang. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying do, to fuck with think, it. I do think once you once you become a celebrity and you gain the money and you gain the fame, like I can understand how people can say that that's not what you think it is, bro. I can. Yeah. Bro, when I watch Soldier Boy, it do feel like he is yearning for something. He's yearning for the respect of the public. <laughs> He's yearning for respect of his peers. It's like he wants some attention. And, and, and he's been... But he wants the respect that he earned. He's earned it. But you got to understand, bro, the antics, bro. Sometimes the social media antics can remove... It's like if you're a Let rapper you, and you go on loving hip-hop. Let me give you like an example. So it's like T-Pain. Put a lot of niggas on, wrote a lot of niggas songs. That's yeah. my nigga. Did all that, all that. I know that. how much I love T-Pain. Don't get no respect. Teddy Pender ass down. Mm. Don't get no respect for his... Artistry, he don't get no respect. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows half the things that T Pain's done unless he, cause he don't never get no credibility. He don't mm -hmm. charge niggas. He do shit for niggas off the strength. Yep. Then they play him. Da 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 da. He don't get on Kanye. social media and do all that Soldier Boy do because he don't get no respect and no love. He actually be sad and hurt about it. Soldier Boy handles it like almost like a child. Yeah. Like he's childish about it. Yeah. T Pain is like. And in his mind, like, damn, y'all gonna do me like that? Soldier Boy is like, ah, like screaming about it. So it's man, like, you know, it's, yeah, that's, it's that's almost like lame. the delivery. Those are two people that kind of be dealing with the same situations, but yeah. the delivery of how they feel is different. So if T Pain gets sad or feels some type of way about niggas want to about how niggas is treating him, uh -huh. niggas is gonna be like, damn, bro, they did T Pain like that. He did all that. That's wild. Soldier Boy, unfortunately, because of how he's presenting himself, his messages are hurt. So it's more or less like, nigga, shut the fuck and up. And he be he be letting these young niggas nice. get under his skin. Like I see niggas under his page, like. Nigga, Soldier Boy dancing and shit. Nigga, this is Soldier Boy. Yeah, this is what he do. <laughs> like y'all, all, all, from dancing. all this TikTok shit y'all doing. He dances. Y'all literally got that from Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy literally bro. was the first nigga in hip hop to start doing dances on the camera and on YouTube. He got. He literally started that shit. We was hitting the Yule. The all animation the shit. Yeah, all like, that without shit. Soldier Boy, it wouldn't be no TikTok dances. Straight up, bro. Y'all, this wouldn't even be an idea to do none of this shit. He was the first to do <laughs> that shit. Right. Straight it's giving, up, it's giving number one fan. Straight, I'm a fan. <laughs> Ain't crazy. Rick and Them Morty. two niggas that y'all just made, like Soldier Boy and T Pain. I know every T Pain song word for word. Yeah. Am I lying? I will fucking recite every fucking song. This nigga is my one of my favorite artists of all time. Like I remember when T Pain was part of the Nappy Heads, and they would do. They had these bro. This nigga T Pain, Danny was his manager, and they did Homecoming at my high school one time. I've been a fan. You know what I'm saying? Word. I love it, man. Um...